Hi guys, it's Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about how to bleed the clutch line and the, and the clutch master cylinder on any of the hydraulic clutch model KTMs. Doesn't matter if it's a big bike like a 1290 or, or a 125, you know, they all bleed the same way. And it's actually a really simple process. We sell a kit, and the kit's made by Magura. And the, in the kit, it's got some adapters like this, and it's got this syringe and this hose. Um, what it does not have is brake fluid in there because most of the KTM models require brake fluid in the clutch. And if you look at the top of your master cylinder cap, it's, it tells on there. This one says dot four five point one, which means it's an alcohol base. So it'd be dot four, uh, like the like the um, Motul that we sell, or dot five point one, which is not as high a performance of a fluid, so I would not really recommend that. Anyhow, uh, in the kit with the Magura, it comes with Magura blood, which is for uh, Magura master cylinders. Not all Magura master cylinders, but most of them, but the ones that say mineral oil on the cap. So do not put that mineral oil in your system that's designed for brake fluid, or you'll have to replace all the seals. That will just destroy it. So uh, from here, hose out of the way here. We're going to go down here to the uh, clutch line down here at the slave cylinder. And so I've got to put this little piece in here to hook onto that syringe. So you got to take this lid and while you're doing this, you know, fluid's going to come out. Big deal. This has a rubber o-ring on it. So you just kind of snug it up with your fingers and you stick this on here. Now you've stopped the fluid. So before I should have explained before you get to this point, you should have your syringe already locked and loaded. You know, uh, draw a bunch of fluid out of your brake fluid bottle into, into here, and then hold it up like this and p compress the syringe some to get all the air bubbles out first. You don't want any air bubbles in here or in here when you hook this line on. So now I'm ready to push the fluid up to the master cylinder. And up here is the master cylinder. My wife's doing the video here. She's a little short, so it might not show real well, but this is the master cylinder, and we're going to push. You can see I've taken a shop right here, and I've wrapped all around this just to capture the fluid that's going to overflow. And right now I can hear air bubbles. You can see air bubbles coming up. And just keep pushing it on up. So at this point, I'm also going to kind of flick the lever a little bit, see if I can get some more out of there. And as I'm doing that, I'm keeping pressure on the syringe. And I'm getting some more to squirt up out of there. So you might have to go through this process two or three times, not always, but sometimes you do. Sometimes it's also good to let it sit for a couple hours, let the little tiny bubbles uh, join together and make big bu bubbles. And you'll get a more solid feel that way. So I just got another big shot of bubbles out of there. I'm still holding onto the syringe, but I'm about out of fluid in the syringe. So I'm gonna go back down here below. I'm gonna take the syringe off. I'm gonna hold my finger over there for a second while I locate the bolt over here. It's bleed, this little bleed bolt. I'm going to take this back out of here. Stick that back in. Now I'm going to check and see what my lever feels like. So it feels pretty darn good. I think that's, you know, that's actually, that would work fine right there. But uh, I've got to go run some errands. I'll come back later and do this a second time just to make sure. I don't have any bubbles in this master cylinder. And uh, that's really all there is to it. It's pretty quick and simple. The kit's cheap. Or you can, you know, rig together your own thing if you want somehow. But uh, that's, the, that's the basics of it. Just push the fluid up into the master cylinder. That's all for now.